Hi guys, Big Ron's here. Now, I'm bringing to you today um, a little bit of a different video from what I usually do. And this is for iRacing and setting up a PS4, Xbox aftermarket controller to use with iRacing. Now, I'm new to iRacing. I don't have a wheel yet. Um, but I thought, you know, it must be possible. Let's give it a go. So, it is possible to use a controller, okay? I have been all over the internet, I've looked at Reddit, I've looked on YouTube, and not found any content which I found helpful to actually make a setting. So I thought I'd do a little video for you today um, and just see if it helps any of you guys out. First thing you need to do, log into iRacing, go to um, a test, and then you need to go to options. Now here you have your input calibration, steering, pedal, gearbox, etc. If you're new to iRacing and you haven't set it up yet, you need to click this button here for the steering. Then what it's going to ask you to do is turn the wheel fully one way, then the other, and return the center and click. So using the left analog stick, you want to move it left, and then you want to move it right, and then back to the middle. Let it centralize. If it's not centralized properly, just make sure the raw data is only showing 125, or whatever number yours is for your particular device, and then click done. Now, this is the next thing. This would usually be for wheels, but you can see at the bottom, there's a little checkbox. It says device is a joystick gamepad. Click this and click done. And that is it. You're done. You go to the pedals. Now, this here, if you want to use the triggers as throttles, then you would click right trigger um, for your throttle or your left trigger if you do it backwards. Um, I, I like to use the analog stick so I can... Basically, so it makes it a little bit uh, less sensitive. Um, if you use the trigger, you, you can see you can see there how 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 different it is. Whereas if I use the uh, the the analog stick, um, it's a lot more controllable. It takes some getting used to. So I put it all the way to full, and then press done, and then press the brakes, and press done, and press. You you want to click this box for use auto clutch. Press done. And that is it. We're done. Although it's saying that my pedals are now unassigned. So we'll do that again. Throttle. And then off. And then done. Brakes on and off. Then done. Then done. And then done. So you can see now, I can do half throttle, three quarter throttle, just off. And the same with the brakes. So all I'm doing is pushing up and down on the right analog stick. And then I've got my steering. And then what also you'll find is this wheel range may be set to something like 260 degrees. So I'll show you what that looks like. But this would be just a normal standard um, setting after you just first come on the game. So you can see straight away that the steering is very, 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 very twitchy. And out on track, for those guys that have already started trying it with um, with this standard setting, you'll still be finding it way, 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 way too sensitive. Especially if the car gets out of control and you, and you need to catch it. I just find it very difficult on this setting. But it is possible. But on something like an oval in one of the Indy cars, it makes it so twitchy at speed. But you can see there how the car's snapping. And when you um, when you're two, three abreast, it makes it very difficult to drive. And you you get you get this motion. Under braking, it makes it, yeah, see, it's so difficult to, to catch. But what we're going to do is stop the car, and we're going to go back to the pits. And then we're going to go back to options. And then what I want you guys to do is change this wheel all the way down to 180. Now, this will not affect the steering angle that you can put on the wheel. 
okay so we're going to click done and then we're going to go to test again and then now you'll be able to see that the car is a lot more controllable not as twitchy don't get me wrong it's not perfect But it's drivable. So if you're someone who's waiting for the wheel to come, or you're just wanting to get into sim racing, and you've got eye racing and you've only got a controller, then this is how you need to configure your controller. So, guys, give it a go. See what you think. If 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 you're very um, you know. If you're very grateful and you're happy for the content and you're happy for the, uh, and you find the information I've given you um, valid and you find that it's helped you, please just give that the video a like. I'm quite a new YouTuber and any support I can get. Obviously, um, drop your comments in the box below. Um, I'm probably going to get some slating for the driving and the fact that I'm using a driving line still because I'm losing the tracks. Fully aware of that. Well, as far as that goes, happy racing. Try and keep it rubber side down. And uh, thank you very much for watching the video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Thank you very much, guys. Goodbye.